Hey guys, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, I'm going to show you a general overview of how you can self-configure your own DNS settings. So the first thing to note here is that after you've put in a setup request with our team, they're going to ping you back once that setup is finished. Usually we can set those DNS records for you, but you may have chosen to self-configure those records, or in some cases we're unable to configure those records and have to send them to you to configure. Typically, your domain host's customer service can help you configure those records, but in the event that they may be confused or can't, this video serves to help you. So let's For get this started. example, I'm going to be using GoDaddy as our registrar. So if you have questions about our hosting, check out the video in our hosting doc in the help library. Otherwise, we're going to proceed because our domain is hosted here with GoDaddy. Now, even though we're looking specifically at GoDaddy for this example, I'm going to speak generally so that these items will apply no matter what registrar you're using. So within GoDaddy or within the registrar that you're working with, you wanna locate your domain. Typically, you'd wanna find products or domains and select that. Once you find your domains within the account, you choose the one that you want to work with. So I'm gonna set up sample domain three right here. So once I've located that domain, typically you would either click on the domain itself or there may be a DNS button, something like that. But we're looking to get to the DNS records for this specific domain that you'd like to display your show at site. So once you've selected that domain, you'll know that you're in the right place because you're going to see some sort of DNS record notification here, like we see DNS management. Within that domain, you're going to see a bunch of different records here. Now we'll need to set up three records to point the domain to your show it site. This is the most important part. Make sure that you refer to the IP values that our team would have sent you upon the completion of your setup. If you're unable to find those or locate them, just message our team and let them know they can get you those values. Now, if you don't have a blog, you're going to set up exactly like I'm going to show you here because you'll be using the same universal IP that we're using in this example. If you do have a blog, however, our team will have sent you a specific IP address for your A record here that has to be set in order for the blog to function. So you'll want to make sure to use that specific IP address that you received from our team. So once you get into these records, you may find that some of the records we need to set up are already created, like our A record here. In total, we're going to add three records or edit those records if they already exist. In this example, my A record already exists, so we're going to edit that, and then we're going to add the other two records that we need to point our domain to show its servers to display your show it site at that domain. So in this case, I've gotten the values from the show it team. I know exactly what I need to plug in. I'm going to click in to edit this A record. So I wanna leave my host as the at symbol here for this particular A record, and I wanna point it to the IP address that the Showit team has provided me. In this case, since I don't have a blog, it's going to be this universal IP ending in 2.7 here. I'll click save and you'll see that that change has now applied. Next, we're going to add one more A record and a C name record. These you may find are already set up in your domain records. If so, just locate those records and edit them. If they do not already exist, you'll need to find the add button and add them. So next we're going to add our wildcard record. This is going to be an A record type. The host is going to be the asterisk symbol here. And then we're going to point it to the same IP ending in 27. This will be exactly this way, whether or not you have a blog. So your wildcard record should be pointed to this same IP. Save that and you'll see here that it's added to our records and we're successfully done with that record. Lastly, we're going to add a CNAME record. This one is going to be host www, and you may find that this one already exists in your records. If not, then you'll wanna add it. If it does already exist, then you will need to go ahead and click to update it. Now, for most registrars, the value that it points to is either going to be the root domain itself, which is just your domain without the www, or the at symbol. Since this is our root domain record here, it can point to at. Some registrars will take one or the other, some will take either or. GoDaddy is one of those that will take either. So if I were to use my root domain here and add it in, you'll see that it will save, but it's just going to redirect to that uh, root domain record here. 
So if you try the at symbol and it doesn't work for you on this CNAME www value, then just be sure to use your root domain here. If it still tells you it can't configure, likely you already have this CNAME www record existing you need to find and edit. Now, depending on which registrar you're using, these terms may be different. They may not be type, name, and value. They might have slightly different nomikers depending on who you're using for your host. Most importantly, no matter what domain host you're using, there are going to be set record types. We only need to worry about the A records and the C name records in this case. You'll always wanna make sure that this next value is going to be that at symbol or the wildcard asterisk or our www and lastly points to or value whatever it may be is going to be either the ip that you were given by our team or for the cname record it will be that at value or your simple domain here most importantly these three records here are the only records that you need to adjust in order to display your show at site at the domain so if you have other records set up, they could be dealing with custom emails or a whole slew of different options. It's best to leave those alone. Now, last but not least, most importantly, you will want to make sure that you only have one A record with the at host. There can only be one of these. If there's two of these records, then the domain has to choose which one to essentially honor. So you wanna make sure that you only have the record for your show at site set up. If there's any other A, at records just like this you can delete them now again notice there may be other a records like this one but the host is not the same you should only have one a record with a host of the at symbol and that should be pointed to the server ip that our team has provided you now once you've got these dns settings all set you can jump back in to show it you'll want to click connect your domain and then click edit your domain has now been added here so i'll select it click save, and then I can click right over here and publish. Now I'm going to uncheck this box, don't worry about that. This is something unique to this test account that I have, you should be fine. So now I'm gonna click publish, it's gonna do its thing, and then we can check out our live site at our domain just like that. Now if you notice a not secure message on your newly set up domain, not to worry, you can simply contact the Show It support team and we can set up an SSL certificate for you. Just jump over to the Show It app, connect with our support team here in the bottom right corner and let them know that you need an SSL certificate set up. They'll take care of it and you'll be good to go from there. Once it's set up, your domain will have this little lock icon just like you see here indicating the site is secure. This is something you definitely want. Search engines are going to prioritize sites that they know are secured with SSL encryption. So it's definitely something that you want to have. I hope this video has been helpful in bringing some understanding to domain DNS settings. If you have any issues, feel free to chat our support team. They're happy to help. Until next time, happy designing.